Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC. And we just finished fighting this guy. And he was... Sweet relief. Not too hard, honestly. I mean, he was a challenge because we had to... Uh, make it so that he couldn't turn invisible on us. <clears throat> so, I mean, it was a challenge, but not a challenge. All right. And there is a cave here. Um... Auto save successful. I want to make an actual save as well because I trust that more than I trust auto saves. Anemic cultist. I'm just gonna save my, um... Bottle of water, un- effects unknown, okay. Not really worth my time, but okay. Oh yeah, this is when I found out that blood is a liquid. <clears throat> Tweak, the people beyond this gate are awfully boring. They just go back and forth between the same places over and over. Can't you recognize a fellow immaculate when you see one? Just because I've got twice your strength in my little toe, don't mean we ain't equal in the goddess's eyes. Well, myself, I need a hand choosing drapes for me kitchen windows. Are you daft? I need to inform her about the happenings in the black coat. <coughs> But since my lady seems to have barred her gates to the likes of us, why don't you tell her this, small bones? We've run into a snag in the cove, but we're pushing through. The Starstone will be hers soon enough. I reckon if you don't already know, they may be above your pay grade. Take it up with Evelyn, why don't you? Or, better yet, have a look for yourself. You seem like just the type those pirates would love to get their hands on. Is that right, small bones? Maybe you can give me a single good reason for I rip your arms out. Oh, 
<coughs> oh, is she still talking? Okay. So, she's still talking. It didn't affect him. Interesting. Let's just reload. I, I had the wrong character anyway, so who cares? get oil who cares honestly all right we don't need the um oil <clears throat> i mean the water i mean because it only heals five percent health once that's all it does That's not who I was controlling, but, um, okay, whatever then. I want to move forward some, actually. Hold up. Um, <clears throat> if I can get a burned, that's what I'll do. Oh, I went too far. Dang it. Fudge muffins. Okay, whatever then. <sighs> okay. Why did it proc it with her and not... Okay, I see now. <clears throat> it's still her. That's so weird. I mean, they're burning. How is he not burning? That should help the that should help the fire stay active more. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you can go that far. Oh my god, duh. I mean, I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, okay, whatever. I don't really need him anyway. No, actually, you know what? No. <clears throat> I wanna, I don't wanna do that because that was a mistake on my party. What? 
Well, that's in small. I reckon if you don't already. Is that right, small bones? Maybe you can give me. Oh, look, I can win this one. Oh. And we're going to do the unthinkable. No mind, <coughs> this place is unbearable. Nope, never mind. We won't do that. I want to keep them right there. Okay. Fudge muffins. I apologize for all of these reloading nonsense. All right, let's just, you know, not do what I did. Ding dong! Oh, burning failed, whatever. <clears throat> Target too far my butt. She can move 11 something odd meters before she can no longer do her stuff. No, God, oh, why? No. Oh, that's not what I, mm. <laughs> Why game, why? That's not what it showed before, why? You son of a biscuit eater. I mean, I could do this. <clears throat> that would get rid of it. But is it really worth doing? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll put that there. Oh, it's already there. Um, okay. Dude, I should buy this skill. Holy crap. <clears throat> it only hits one target, but... I can use it how often? Three times. Okay, sure. Oh, I didn't actually use it. My bad. <clears throat> I mean, he's knocked down though, which is nice. Fail to apply shield. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Yeah, I'll take that for him. I don't mind that at all, honestly. Elegant? I mean, that is... Anything through here? Small magical armor potion. And I mean, I might take that. Yeah, I, I maybe I'll use that. Ten more armor might be useful. I don't really need that at all. <coughs> They're hurt. 
What are they hurt for? Oh, what? They're weak. What are they weak for? What are they weak for? Did I do something to make them weak? Dude, I've never seen them like that before. Did I do something to do this to them? No way. Did, did one of the quests cause that to happen? Because I've never seen that before from any of them. These fellows are so focused on their work, they <coughs> seem impervious to any other distractions. Even the hollering of orcs could shake them to strange stupid. This is weird. I mean, I'm not complaining by no means. It's just I've never seen them this week before. Oh, and they're not in combat. Neither are they. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so if I can take it in waves, that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what I'll do is I'll take it in waves, if possible. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... And she can move 11 meters before... Okay, it's sticking to 4 AP. Good to know. Okay. Alright, so they're all in now in combat. That is fine by me. Inval the target in my butt. And I will do this and save one. <coughs> Absorb the elements on... Okay. I gotta see what that does. Burning failed and knockdown failed. <clears throat> what an idiot is blessed. Okay, that's fine. It's no longer weak. Saved against bleed, nice. So what does save against the elements do? Oh, so you lower your armor to gain resistances. 
Fair enough. <clears throat> you know what? Since we have this many enemies, it's time that we build our army. down like right here and then do it yeah and then he's invisible My eye is bugging me, hold up. Okay, hopefully that will do it now. <clears throat> Can I get over here? Can I get here and do a backstab? Oh no, I cannot because of the oil. Oh, that bites. Whatever then, it is what it is. That's fine though, who cares? Um, not enough AP. Okay, I will move you out of the oil for now. You killed your own guy, you idiot! Okay, so she's petrified, that's no big deal. And my spider is now bleeding. Do I have anything that will heal petrify? I don't think I do. I think it's only on her. Yeah, I think it's only on her. So fair enough. Um, I need to move three spaces. How far can I move? Right here, okay, cool. That chair has that much health, are you serious? Okay, devs, I see what you're doing now. Let's just go ahead and just, you know, do this. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll move forward, I don't mind. And then I'll have my spider friend come over here and attack this guy. Of course. <clears throat> and... Boom, baby. 
I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Shoot. Oh no, my spider's exploding. I'm so scared of exploding spiders. <clears throat> I don't think so. I mean, he'll walk through the fire there. I'd rather not do that. <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh, he still did. You silly idiot. Oh, he's too far. Um, can you go here and then do this? Bingo. No, I don't want that one. I want nice leather boots. So we have that book already. Hello. <clears throat> Actually, who needs the initiative? Um... Yeah, I can do that, I guess. Twenty-eight to... Nope, it's weaker. Okay, cool. So, nothing I need here. Secrets of the Scroll, Volume. I meant to... Magic Ink. Okay, I don't really need this at all, honestly. I'll take that though. Fun with fluids. Minor speed potion. Blasphemy, resurrect scroll, a bucket. And yeah, I'll take that. Okay, we got a new lore book. Nice. Pot still. Not enough strength. Uh, 
Eh? Oh, okay, so it's one of those. Is this thing in? Okay. <coughs> okay. Alright, I see now. Let's go ahead and read. Actually, I want to check my other booties here. Um, yeah, I'll give her more armor. <coughs> Alright. No, nope, wrong one. I want this one. Let's go ahead and read this one. Why the seven gods exist not now, nor never have? Gods, huh? Fairy tales, phantoms, what more? Who could have, who could mistake the mysteries of nature for the hand of a ghost? The bounty and beauty of nature, it seems foolish to assign this wonder to some unknown and unknowing entity. Some may request I cast my mind's gaze not upon the lilies of the field, but upon the soul of man and the higher beasts. But this I submit, that I have inspected the inner workings of men and beasts, living and dead, and I have found no soul. <coughs> Only squirming red and bleeding purple. There was no God in those private chambers. Okay, this fight is going to be fun. I would not consider that a lucky find, but okay. Curse your stupidity, Evelyn. Look over there. Your foolish games have brought source hunters into our very midst. I have no time for these distractions. <sighs> Rex's resurrection is at hand. Deal with these insects and join me. Understand? Of course, O oh Holy Conduit. I will deal with them swiftly. See to it that you do. You! <coughs> Your stomping through my affairs has cost me dearly. More dearly than you'll ever know. What a pleasure it will be to see the source shred your every last sinew. Yes. A sorcerer, disciple of blood, chaser of life everlasting. For a true sorcerer, death is but an inconvenience to rid oneself of, Hunter. Bracchus Rex, centuries in his grave, will walk again, healthy as a newborn babe. That is our power, the power of sorcery. That wretch is but a thrall, a tool. But the conduit trusted him. I was determined to find out why and resurrected him. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of an annoyance, but no matter. We're nearly through, aren't we, Jake? Just a little more pain. She is our leader. Leandra is her name. The conduit is her title. She aims to bring about... But no! You are not worthy of such knowledge. The bird does not explain to the worm why it devours it. He was the greatest sorcerer ever to have lived. His power outmatches us all. The secrets he carries within him are phenomenal. aid us in our task, Hunter. All you have seen, all we are trying to do, this is but the beginning. 
You mean my bloodstone. <coughs> Named like that for a reason, Source Hunter. I'll put it simply. We start with Starstone. A pretty gem, but hardly special. It contains a potential, though, known only to the enlightened few. If imbued with blood, Starstone contains the power to heal. A life given to the stone is a life one can give to another. To save a great life, a great life must be sacrificed. This is what the Conduit has taught us. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, <coughs> you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again. This fight sucks, and that's why. Time to get your feet wet. What damn? Oh, I'm using the wrong weapons for this. Okay. But we have spiders. <clears throat> and we're going to need them. I want to get as many spiders out as possible. <clears throat> and build us a defensive barrier because this fight sucks ass. Yes, that's what I wanted. Good. Please work. Yes! Oh, thank goodness it works. <clears throat> Poison failed because it's an undead. Of course. Of course. Bleeding failed. And if my spiders get hit, that's a good thing for us because of their blood. That's why. I want to do
Oh, we're using water. Oh, we're using water on these things. Okay, not on him then. Just on that one. We are using water. What are you weak to? Nothing. Alright, so we can switch back to our weapons now if I wanted to. But I think I'll stick to these ones. Oh, and that's why. Because that also hurt her. <clears throat> What's her health? Ooh, 70. Does this do that much? It does not. Okay. Um, can I get this? Yes, I can. Yeah. <clears throat> can I? Come over here. Oh, joy. Oh, poor Medora. Poor Medora. Who's next? Evelyn, but she's knocked down. That's fine. Poison failed. Poison failed. Okay, whatever then. <clears throat> this spider is gonna die. This spider is gonna die. Poison failed. Oh, man. Probably should have used that on Medora. I mean, not um, on Evelyn, yeah. Not on, yeah, um, you know what I mean. Hey, um. Hey, um. If I hit my spiders, who cares, right? She's next. Excellent. Uh, crumb bummers. Crumb bummers. My heart beats too slowly to sustain me. Crumb bummers. And, yep, that's what I thought. Oh, and it failed. Oh, yeah, well... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move there, game. No. I wanted to move there, not pick something up. Damn it. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. Oh. 
Oh my god, the critical hit is beautiful. Oh, what healed it? Oh, that did? Okay, um, then we will go back to that one then. Don't mind if I do. Nothing really, that's what I need though. So, cool. Well, here I am. A man no longer. A monster instead. Unworthy of a god to its grace. The very same. Jake, counselor by day. Sorcerer by night. Martyr in death. Me? You contest it now, you presumptuous dog. I die, die, so we will come to it. <coughs> Leandra, Leandra, oh, blessed conduit. I have followed you till the end of time. And it wasn't to be. I was stuck down in the prime of my sorcery, and by whom? Leandra's own sister, the pox upon her. I, Ikara, Ikara, I spit on every syllable. They call her the White Witch. She is powerful in her own right, but never would I have thought she'd challenge her sister, Leandra, and kill one of the most loyal. Me! Very little indeed. What concern was that foul woman of mine? What witch, perhaps? The black sheep of her family, too. She shunned her sister's teachings. Can you believe that? She could have been the very conduit's right hand. And she shunned her. Oh, take vengeance upon her. Blessed Leandra, I invoke you. Open her veins, bleed her dry, give her a function at last. My murder, a tale of woe, the time, a misty midnight, the place, the King Crab Inn, the players, myself, Leandra, Ikara, and a stranger whose identity I have never established. The conduit was there to meet with this stranger and had tasked me to stand ready to overpower him if necessary. I heard sounds of passion at first, but later of angry argument. Then I heard Leandra's command, and I entered the room. She swerved past me, and oh, I can still feel the rasp of her holy breath upon my ear, whispered, finish him. A man lay on the floor, struck down, and ready for my knife, which I plunged deep <coughs> into his heart. Yet, but not a moment later, it <coughs> burst through the window, and I was defenseless. She savagely tore my knife from my body, and I died in the glow of the source. A holy martyr, slain in the name of the conduit. Foolish grasper, she who thought herself the conduit's favorite couldn't stand that I had been privileged as a confidant. When she realized the conduit had been in the inn the night I was killed, she couldn't stand to think that I had been trusted where she had not. She brought me back to unlife so that I would reveal what I knew. She wanted to work her way back into the conduit's confidence. But as you saw, 
Leandra had no interest in Evelyn's petty tricks. Yes, yes, the king is dead, and not for long. Long live the king! The Blackest Rex has no equal hunter. His knowledge of the source is absolute, and through him so will the conduits be. The hour is nigh. You do not realize it yet, but his axe is falling towards your scrawny neck. <laughs> and I, I <coughs> get little use to Leandra's cause now. My worm-eaten grind is an insult to her perfection. To my grave, then, I will go. I suppose she'll not grudge me my portion of rest. The Immaculate Snake sprouts a new head wherever we look. If I murder victims, one of them crazy cultists, anyone could be. Walker hands my daughter a note. No matter how many heads, we'll keep chopping. I love Wargraf, he's fun. <coughs> Alright. on the prize. Uh, uh, what else is there in here? Holy cheese doodles. Unbreakable. <clears throat> oh, see, this is initiative. Dang it. <sighs> I can't afford that. I can't afford her to lose initiative. I want to do that for her. One strength and 50 health. I think that one's better. But I can't sacrifice the initiative. I, I just, I can't. Mm. 
Hey, that one is gone now. Oh, it's right here now, Star right now. It's right there. <clears throat> Staff of Pergamon. All right. There's no other way out of here besides this. So let's go to town. I got Citizen something. Town. You have done it, haven't you? You've discovered the fate of Councillor Jake. There we go. That's a bit. That's a do it. I think. By the gods, no one could have predicted such a dark turn of events. This is worse than my deepest fears made manifest. It just cannot be that they aim to resurrect him. Bracchus Rex. <coughs> cannot be. Oh, you got anything good for me? Eh. Ooh. Eh, not really. Eh, not really. Ooh. Eh, not really. Nope, nothing good. Okay, cool. I could get this one for... Yeah, I might do that actually. Cause it'll be better than flare. Then I can unlearn flare. Yeah, I'll do that. Cast a magical poisonous dart that does. That's a lot of damage. I. I might take that. I just don't have the ability to learn adept. Fortify. Yeah, I might take that as well, honestly. <clears throat> Forgive me, this news is just so very upsetting. This thing. It was the king of tyrants. The embodiment of terror. The lunatics that seek his rise must be stopped, whatever the cost. I... I do. <coughs> I do indeed. Bracchus would unseat the king of demons in sheer perfidy and malice given half a chance. For the world, for you and I to suffer his perversions once more is unthinkable. The possibility of his return is more than I can bear. And Ikara, that she has been dragged into this sorry business adds insult to insufferable injury. There have long been rumors that Bracchus's corpse was interred in the vaults beneath the abandoned Church of the Seven in Sicil's eastern hinterlands. That place is crawling with undead these days, so the rumors may well be true. 
Where Leandra goes, the dead rise left and right. And even in death, the long-lost tyrant's corruption appears to persist. Come to think of it, did anyone in Evelyn's lair mention the name <coughs> Cassandra? It's nothing, Hunter. Nothing. My mind is reeling, but I... I'll feel better soon. After you've cut short Leandra's dark pursuits. She is a great woman, Hunter. A champion of all that is good and pure. She may have killed Jake, but then again, the man turned out to be a vile sorcerer. I can only surmise that she is on to her sister's sinister schemes, which makes me fear for her safety more than anything else. Leandra. I know her, though I haven't seen her in years. As you know, she and Ikara are sisters. It's hard for me to believe that she's leading this cult. That she's delirious enough to go after Bracchus Rex. But clearly her involvement can no longer be denied. She's as smart as ten wizards put together, Hunter. An opponent to be feared. Now, you said Jake and Evelyn called her the Conduit, didn't you? In that case, she may just be the elusive head of the Immaculates. There's a village in the forests north of Sysiel where a new religion has taken place. <coughs> its followers call themselves Immaculates, and I've heard say they worship a leader called the Conduit. This village is called Silverglen, and if my suspicions turn out to be correct, there is sorcery at work there. Alas, I haven't the foggiest. Another sorcerer, perhaps? Or simply another victim of Leandra's ploys? The Legion didn't find a second body at the scene of the crime, so maybe he escaped with his life after all. Though, just as likely, his body too was taken away by Evelyn for experimentation. And I will see if I can find out more about Ikara's involvement. <coughs> but in the meantime, please... Please pursue Leandra to the old church in the east and stop her before she can raise Bracchus. I beg of you. Uh -huh. Rex's name alone is enough to turn our friendly neighborhood wizard into a scaredy cat. I wonder why this ancient spectre spooks him so. Ahu doesn't strike me as the type to scare very easily. And so the mystery is solved. Councillor Jake was murdered by this so-called white witch, Ikara. But as it stands, I guess our next concern is Bracchus Rex. <laughs> then again, our mission was to solve Councillor <coughs> Jake's murder. A job well done, I say. Even though I'm afraid we have no other choice but to push on. Cautious and bold. Oh, I wanted the initiative bonus. Oh well. Alright. I have some stuff. Oh yeah, I want to put that back on. Yeah, I'll leave that one on. Why not? Who cares? Um, let's go to the... M I know what I'm gonna do. I wanna put a save. Because it's... yeah. Put a save and a cut in the video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.